Welcome to Ottawa, capital of Canada, home to Parliament Hill and located in the province of Ontario lying alongside the Ottawa River. In this video we're going to show you the best things to do in Ottawa over the course of a single day. We began our time in the city by indulging in a hearty breakfast at King Eddie's. They do sweet and savoury brunch options and unlimited coffee refills. After breakfast head to the Canadian Museum of History. Now this museum is actually just across the river in Gatineau, Quebec but provides a fascinating insight into the heritage of Canada. If the weather is warm enough, you can then cross the Alexandra Bridge and you'll be rewarded with beautiful views of Parliament Hill as you cross over from Quebec back into Ontario and Ottawa. The first place you want to check out in Ottawa itself is Parliament Hill, which is where all of the most important buildings and monuments in town can be found. The first place I want to draw your attention to is the National War Memorial, which is titled The Response and was created in the 1930s. Today, it is dedicated to all Canadians killed in all conflicts, past and future. Carry on up Parliament Hill until you reach the main set of buildings. Here, you'll find the Centennial Flame, which commemorates the 100th anniversary of the Canadian Confederation. In 1857, Queen Victoria of England chose the little town of Ottawa to be the new capital of Canada. The main building that you see today is known as Centre Block and its design is Gothic Revival, much like the Palace of Westminster in London, England. The first iteration of the building was actually destroyed by a fire in 1916 and all that remained was the exquisite library. This area is now currently undergoing intensive renovations that you can take a peek inside virtually by booking one of the free interactive tours on Spark Street. East Block is the second of the three buildings on Parliament Hill and it's open to the public for tours in July and August for free. It was originally built to house the offices of senators and members of parliament and now still houses the offices of senators and their staff members. West Block is almost as prestigious as Centre Block and even features on $5 Canadian bills. Since 2019, West Block has accommodated the Interim House of Commons Chamber as well as some other parliamentary offices. You can visit the House of Commons at West Block as part of a free guided tour. Just be sure to book ahead online in advance. Now, even if you choose not to go on any of the guided tours and simply admire the buildings via their exteriors, one thing I do recommend doing is going to the back of the buildings and enjoying the views onto the Ottawa River. The gorgeous Rideau Canal is one of the most beautiful places to visit in Ottawa year round and dates all the way back to the early 19th century. The part which empties into the Ottawa River is probably the most picturesque. Located just down the road from Parliament Hill, the Chateau Laurier is one of the most prestigious hotels in Ottawa. The Women A Persons Monument is situated on the extremity of Parliament Hill and is a tribute to the Famous Five, a group of women who were instrumental in overturning a decision which ruled against women being appointed to the Senate. Like many towns and cities, Ottawa too has its own larger than life Ottawa sign where you can head to for a photo opportunity. Just a short walk away, the iconic bronze and stainless steel Maman sculpture depicts a giant spider guarding the entrance to the National Gallery of Canada. This is just across the road from the Notre Dame Cathedral Basilica. Unfortunately, the cathedral was actually closed to visitors during our visit to Ottawa, but I'll put a few photos on screen of a previous visit. When wandering around Ottawa, do be sure to look out for all of the cool art pieces. This one is known as Our Shepherds.
Byward Market is one of the most lively areas of downtown Ottawa and so this is where you'll want to head to for lunch. This is one of the main tourist attractions in town and consists of outdoor farmer market stalls as well as an indoor area where you can find independent boutiques and foodie spots. One snack that I particularly recommend trying while in the area is a beaver tail. Now, this is actually a chain of restaurants, but there is one just outside of the market. This is a fried dough pastry that is topped in all sorts of different flavors, though I opted to stay traditional and go for maple. It was honestly very delicious. Another spot I recommend checking out while in the area is La Bottega. This is an Italian grocery store and they sell all kinds of pasta, sauces, breads, that kind of thing. There's also a really nice patisserie deli in the back where you can sit and have a coffee or even get a snack to eat. For dinner, we went to Datsun, which serves modern Asian fusion plates. They were super delicious and they had vegetarian options on the menu. Anyway, if you've made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more travel movies and see you next time. Bye.